Are you a small local business owner that has very little web design, computer and tech savvy skills? However, you want to build a professional website for your small business quickly and for free? Well, if this sounds like you, then this website building tutorial is designed for you. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. And if we're meeting for the first time, then my name's Stuart and I'm excited to help you get started on your DIY web design journey. Now in this beginner's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a free professional website in just 10 short minutes. Today we'll be building a sleek and responsive free website with the relatively new and powerful website builder called Site123. Now Site123 provides one of the easiest website building experiences on the internet for complete beginners. Now just quickly before we launch into Site123 and if you're still yet to subscribe, consider doing so and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that covered, let's dive over to my computer and let's start crafting your brand new small business website. <music> Okay guys, so let's get started with site one, two, three to build your free professional small business website. So the first thing we need to do is actually head over to site123.com or you can click the link down in our description below this video and that's going to take you to this web page that we have in front of us. Now before we dive into actually creating your free website with site123, what we want to do is actually cover some of the important features that you need to understand before deciding to choose site123 to create your website. So first off, Site123 offers over 40 professional pre-made website templates that you can build from and add content to. So rather than creating a website from scratch, what you can do is select a professional template and start adding content to that template. And that leads us on to the next feature. Basically, Site123 does not offer a traditional drag and drop website builder like everything else on the market. What Site123 offers is a content management system and essentially this allows for an extremely easy website building experience for complete beginners because in three simple steps what you can do is follow these easy steps and upload your website content and then your website is complete and ready to go live and we're going to guide you through this process, this easy three step process. So with that said, let's navigate up to the top and let's get started and create your free website. So to do that, what we're going to do is navigate over to start here. And as you can see, like I mentioned, we can build our website in three simple steps, step one, two, and three. So on step one, all we need to do is select the category that best represents our business type. So for us, for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a restaurant website. However, what you want to do is select the right category that best represents your small business. And we're going to go ahead and name our restaurant Stuart's Delights. So I'm happy with this business name for our new restaurant. So go ahead and make sure you add your business name in here, then come down and select go to final step. And the third and final step that we need to complete before we can start adding and customizing our website is just signing up with our personal information. So you can go ahead and enter your name, email and create a password here and then select start my website or you can sign up with Facebook or Google. Now, because with our tutorials, we like to keep everything in one place. So we like signing up with Google. So we're going to go ahead and sign up with Google. However, you can sign up with Facebook or add your information in here. So we're going to come down and select sign up with Google. And then we're going to go ahead and select this Google account. And then you just need to give site one, two, three, a moment to load and put your website together. And congratulations, just like that, Site123 has gone ahead and created your free professional website. However, it doesn't end there. What we need to do now is actually go in and customize the look, the feel, and add content to our new website. So what we're going to do is come up here and click start building your website. Now the other great thing about Site123 is they offer 24-7 support. So if you have any issues, any problems, any questions surrounding Site123 and actually building your website, what you can do is navigate down to need help, click here 
and a message will appear and you can add information in here. You can ask questions and request support. And because this is a 24 seven live chat, they will get in touch with you as soon as possible and help guide you through the process of actually building your website and solving any of the issues that you might have. So I'm gonna come up here and actually exit out of that chat. Remember, just come down here and click need help and that's gonna bring up that chat bar. So I'm gonna come over here and click exit again. And now what we're gonna do is actually navigate through site one, two, three and show you how to make customizations to your new website. Okay, so firstly, what we wanna do before we actually make customizations and add content to our website is we want to navigate through our new website. Now, your website will look slightly different to our website depending on the category you selected in step two. So for us, as you can see, we have our business name up on the top left. Below that, we have a header, subheader, and then a book now button, a call to action. So this is a button that you can select and it's gonna take that individual to that specific section on our website. Then up above in our menu or header, we have different sections to our website. Now this website is actually a single page website, meaning if we click one of these sections up here or one of these menu items, that's gonna take us to the specific section on our single page website. So it doesn't actually take us to a new page, it just takes us to a new section on our single page website, which can ultimately enhance user navigation as everything is on one page. Next to our menu, what we have is a location button, share now, email, and call now button, which is great for local and small businesses. So these are call to action buttons that users or visitors on our website can do to essentially get in contact with us. So if we navigate back to the top by clicking home, what we wanna do now is actually navigate through the home page, pages, and then design. So we're gonna show you how to add content and actually customize your website. Now, there are two ways that you can actually customize your website. You can go ahead and actually select each of these areas and start typing or changing the content just by simply selecting each element that you want to edit. So for example, if I select that button, that's gonna take me to the button section here. Again, I could select this background here and it's gonna take me to the background section where I can customize the background. Again, I could navigate down the page and select restaurant menu. Again, that's gonna take me to this section where I can customize my restaurant menu header and then I can actually customize this particular page. But what we wanna do is navigate up to the top and actually select home page and customize our website from the left hand bar rather than customizing our website on page, which means selecting different elements on our website page and selecting it that way. So we're gonna navigate through this sidebar to make customizations to our website. So firstly, we have home page. Now, if I wanna edit text, I can select text and I can edit the title here, which is the title here, or title to the subheader down here. And all you need to do is click and start editing. Now we also have positions. I could change the position of my text by simply selecting these positions under positions, or I can navigate over to layouts and I can actually select the feel of our website homepage. So I can change and select the different layouts and styles of my homepage section. So what you wanna do is navigate through all these different options and select the style that best works for your business. Then if we navigate back from text to background, we can select background and here we can change the background of our homepage. So again, I can choose an image by uploading a new image or I can use an image from the image library. So if I select image library, food and drink, and then I can come down here and I could select this image over here as an example. And then as you can see, that's gonna change the color here. What I can do is navigate through the different colors and select the best color that works for this image or this homepage or for the overall style of my website. So I'm gonna head back up here and select this image and I'm happy with that for now. So I'm gonna come down and select close and continue. So I'm happy with the image, the background image here. What we wanna do is select back and then come down to buttons and forms. So as you can see, we have one button here, book a table, book a table. I can change this. I can also add a secondary button if I like. For example, contact us. 
I could add that button in there, but I'm going to leave it as just one call to action button, a single button. Because if you have multiple buttons on your homepage, then the user doesn't know where to click. Your visitors want to have a streamlined experience. Why are they coming to your website? What is the main action that you want your visitors to take? So I recommend just having one button. Then what we can do is head back and then come down to templates. And this is the style of your homepage. So again, I could select this style here. And as you can see, my entire homepage design has been changed. Now it's just the top section of my website, my home page. However, what I want to do is actually navigate down here and select a better template for me to use that represents my brand. So I'm going to navigate down here and I like the look of this template here. And again, I can go ahead and customize this template the way that I like, but I'm going to navigate back from templates and now I'm going to navigate down to pages. So we've just made changes to our home page. Now what we want to do is make changes to each of our other pages on our website. Now you can navigate over here and actually shuffle these pages around. So as you can see, we have our pages up above here next to the home button. And what you can do is you can shuffle these pages around. So like the look of that about contact. No, let's have contact uh, at the end. Yep, so I'm happy with that. Then you can change the name of each of these pages if you like. Or you can come over here and edit each of these pages. So for example, if I come down to About Us page, I can come over here to Edit. And I can edit the text here by simply deleting this and adding information about my business. I can also upload multiple images to the About Us page if I like. As you can see, I've got one stock image at the moment and two other images I could possibly add to the About Us section. So I can click Close, or if you've made changes, come down and click Save, or Save and Close. So I'm going to come up here and click Exit. Again, you can preview your changes if you like, but I'm going to leave that as it is, and click Discard Changes. So it's very simple to shuffle your pages around and change the layouts and positioning of your different pages. I can also come over here and remove pages if I like, or I can add a new page. So if I click add page, I can come down here and look at some of the common pages that people use on their websites. So for example, I could add services, our team section, I can add a blog, gallery, pricing table, a restaurant menu, we've already got that. I can come down here and look at different layouts for different pages. So contact us. I could select any of these contact page styles. I can come down to team. Again, I can select the different team page styles, or I can come down to say restaurant, restaurant reservations and the different styles here. So I like this style over here, which I currently have. And as you can see, I've got two of those pages. So I'm going to come up here and delete the old one and select yes. So as you can see, it's very straightforward and easy to shuffle your pages around and make changes and add content to your website pages. And you can easily add a new website page if you like. I'm happy with pages for now. So take your time to go through each of your pages and delete the pages you don't like and customize your website pages so that it represents your business and brand. Now what we're going to do is navigate over to design. And design is the overall design of your website. So you can come down to different themes and you can select these customized themes, which is going to come with different colors and fonts for your website. So you can navigate down and experiment with your website. So I'm happy with that one. No, that actually looks quite ugly. I'm going to go back up to Roboto, condensed. I'm happy with that. Then we have colors over here. Again, you can change the colors and then we have the overall font. Then if we navigate over to customize, here is where we can customize our header and our footer. So if I select header, this is where we can add a phone number, email, location, and social networks up over in our header or our menu. So again, I could click each of these and that's going to show me what the visitors will see. So again, I could select email. They can send an email to this email address here, or they can enter their information into this form. Again, I can navigate over to phone number and they can call my phone number here. So make sure you fill out all this header information. This is your business contact information. Then if we head back and then head down to customize and click footer, this is where you can edit the layout of your footer. So if I exit out of this one and navigate all the way down to the bottom, this is our footer down here. So again, I can click 
edit footer and that's going to take me to this option here but again we've shown you how to access this from the left hand bar I can select a different layout if I want so for example layout 2 and that's going to center all my information I'm happy with that I can come over here and edit our social media so as you can see I've got four social media channels that this business uses I can edit those and then you can edit this information down here so what you want to do is play with it if you have terms of service privacy policy you can turn those on and those will appear in your footer down here but it's as simple as that to essentially make customizations to your website and the last thing we want to do before we go ahead and publish our website and make it go live for people to find us online is we want to make sure that our website is responsive across all devices so to do that to make sure that our website is responsive is we can come up here and see what our website looks like on different devices so for example tablet and mobile and all you need to do is navigate through your website make sure it looks responsive on both tablet mobile and then desktop and then once you're happy with your website you're happy with the customizations you've made you're ready to go live then all you need to do is navigate over to publish click publish and then select yes and congratulations just like that your new professional website is now online now to find your website what you can do is just copy or select this link and that's going to take you to your website so this is our website I like the look of that and what I can do is actually come back here and what I'll do is copy this so copy this URL this is our website URL remember this is a free website so we do not have a proper domain you can upgrade to a proper domain if you like you can type your ideal domain in up here and purchase it if you like but because we're focusing on a free website what we have is a branded domain name which is here so you can copy this and you can share it on social media you can send it via email you can send it to your friends and family and they can now find your website online so congratulations just like that you have built a professional free website with site 123 this is a powerful website builder and content management system that is ideal for beginners those that have very little experience when it comes to building a website and there we have it guys that is it for today's website building tutorial now you should have a stunning and responsive new website that communicates your brand and message for your small business now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like and if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe and that way i'll see you in the next video take care guys